Natalie, I was never a big believer in love at first sight, but I can say without a doubt that the first time I saw you, I felt something I had never felt before. And it didn't take long at all for me to know that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you by my side. You are kind, understanding, gentle, a little nuts sometimes, and my best friend. I'm a better version of myself because of you. And although it feels like we've already been together for a lifetime, this is just the beginning. I remember when I would pray for you before I even knew you. I would pray for a man who would take care of me, would love my family as much as I do, and would lead me in becoming the best version of myself. You have exceeded every expectation I ever had, and you have taught me so much. You have taught me how to be brave, how to love, and how to let someone love me. I promise to love you with everything in me for the rest of my life. I promise to be there for you, to encourage you, and to support you wherever this life takes us. I have no doubt that you were the man I prayed for. You were everything. You were my best friend, and I can't wait to make you my husband today. I love you. We have so much ahead of us that I can't wait to experience, and there's no one in this world that I would rather experience it with more than you. I promise to always be there for you, to confide in you, to trust you, to grow with you, and to love you unconditionally. I love you, and I'm ready to call you my wife. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. You had a good day? Yeah, it's really good. It started, it started with you. Pat mentioned to me a few years back how he thought he might never meet somebody, uh, how he might just be alone for the rest of his life. I said back to him something like, well, Pat, you're an innocently good guy. And a lot of people out there have baggage or a past they aren't proud of. Uh, but you have a clean slate. You're a generally good person, you're fun to be around, and you're always yourself. A year or so later, it was, it was just another day in my world, and out of the blue, I received a barrage of texts from old Pat. Uh, a, a few things popped into my head right away. I said, one, uh, this is weird, Pat rarely, if never, texts me first. And two, there's more than five words here. Uh, a couple page long texts and many exchanges later I'd come to find out that he had indeed met a girl. Her name was Natalie and that she was the most beautiful girl he had ever met. In a slew of messages I saw my friend bloom right before my eyes. The Patrick I've known and loved came right out and I couldn't have been more excited. I told my roommates, random friends from school. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I even called my mom to share the news. Uh, since that moment, it's, it's been Patrick and Natalie.
always knew that Patrick was the one. To this day, I have the text from Natalie after her and Patrick's first date. She texted me immediately after she got home and said, buddy, I think he's the one. I screenshotted that message and kept it because if you know Natalie, you know she doesn't just say that about anyone. So I knew it was genuine and I knew I would be telling this story as I stand up here today. beautiful, kind, and caring, and your smile can light up any room, and I just want to thank you for being Patrick's person. I couldn't imagine anybody more perfect. If I have any piece of advice after being married for a year, it's to never stop trying. Remember your commitment to one another, always keep God and your love in the center of your life, and I promise the rest will fall into place. Patrick, take care of my girl because she's a special one. I love you both, and I'm excited to see you grow in your relationship. So, cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Cheers.